Okay, let's have a much more detailed view on partitions and profiles. We have configured two partitions and we have co configured a couple of profiles. So what to do with it, how to manage this, what can you see on these settings? So if you just select maybe for instance our default partitions, we have played around all the time before. So it just shows lo lots of accounts, in this case 12 accounts, 11 assets, one profile and a couple of discovered accounts. And you can just see them here in scope. Scope gives you all the assets and your accounts that are assigned to your partition. And profile is just the list of the profiles you have assigned to your partition. And as we have said, you can have multiple profiles assigned to a partition. And the discovered accounts, that is the result of your account discovery profile that is run on a scheduled base. And if you, if you click here on the other partition we have just configured, it's pretty much empty because it has, it has just the profile we have created, but the scope has nothing assigned and in general it just says, okay, it's only one profile. What you can do now is you can move assets from one partition to the other. You may want to do, you do use this because you want to group your assets in a little bit more logical way. So to do this, just go to your macrocosm partition, go to your scope, select the asset you want to move, maybe like this one, click on the edit button in the general view and you can now here select the partition you want to move it to. And the only one you have available is the newly new one created. Just select, click OK and it now assigns it to, your, to the new partition and it automatically assigns a default profile for that partition and if you don't want to have it here you can of course change the profile if you have a specific profile for that partition created earlier. We just leave it here and just click OK and save. And now if you click on the test partition you may not see it just as you remember always be refreshing click the refresh button and you're going to see it here in the scope and all these accounts and assets that live on that uh, asset here that has been moved to that partition will be displayed here. We have to still the same profile, we only have this one, we have no discovered accounts at this time and we have three accounts, one asset, one profile. Now it's moved from one partition to the other. So just one more thing, we have our new partition here and we have this new asset in that partition. So let's go to our asset and now we want to change the profile and of course it is possible in safeguard to assign an uh, asset profile that is different from the partition profile so just click on this click on edit and you see you have this partition that's the that's how where you define where this asset belongs to and you have this profile by default it's the default profile but if you don't want this, just click on Browse and select a new profile. And if you don't have a profile already defined, Safeguard will offer you the option to create a new one. And once you have done this, it's pretty much the same as before, you can assign a new profile specifically for that asset. And just one more thing about profiles. We have seen that you can assign a profile to a partition and to an asset. And of course in Safeguard it is even possible to assign a profile to an account. So if we go to a petition and I now have created an, an, an additional profile, I can just go to the scope and select an account. And if I double click on this and go to the edit button here, I can now select from my profiles that are available in my petition. So I can yet use the second one here and can assign a different one to that account directly. So the account has a different profile as the partition. Just refresh to see it. So now the account has a different profile than the other ones that are defaults.